What's going on Tackle Rouse fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. We're into October now. Weather's cooling down, fishing's about to get really good. Uh, just got a few things for you today. The first one we're gonna start off with is a jig that our, our office guys have actually been waiting for for quite a while and super stoked to finally get in. This is the new Evergreen IR jig. So really small, compact jig. There's just a bunch of really good features about this jig that we're all super pumped about. It's just uh, gonna be good all around and gonna get a lot of bites. So starting at the head, they are using a ball head design, which is a super versatile jig. Um, the only thing it's probably not really good for is fishing through a lot of heavy grass and stuff. But, you know, going through brush, you know, flipping around docks, throwing it on rock piles, uh, any of that kind of stuff, fishing points, sand, gravel, whatever, um, the ball head design kind of excels in a lot of situations. Um, really good versatile jig. Um, this jig, you know, small, compact, gonna get a ton of bites. And down here on the hook, so they're using a kind of O'Shaughnessy style bend hook on there. Um, it's super, super sharp, and it is kind of a medium wire hook. So we're gonna be good for, you know, all the way down to maybe your eight pound test and all the way up to, you know, your 15, 16 pound test, but not gonna be the jig that you wanna be throwing on uh, 2025 and a heavy action rod. Like I said, it's gonna be more geared towards your finesse style fishing and coming up here in the winter time, this is gonna be a great jig to have in the arsenal, especially if you have to fish really deep. Uh, some places out here in our California reservoirs, we fish jigs out in, you know, 40, 50, 60 feet of water in the winter time. And this is gonna allow you to get down there, have that nice compact finesse profile and that super sharp kind of medium wire hook gonna be able to stick those fish and have plenty of hook penetration on those long cast out really, really deep. On the skirt, they're using hand tied skirts and the color schemes and paint jobs that are on these jigs are phenomenal. So if you go on the page, um, all the colors that Evergreen has selected, they really do, they do a really, really good job with the skirting material and getting those color combinations on there just right. Um, if you're familiar with like the Jackhammer series, you know how good uh, attention to detail they put on those skirts on there. You know, they're just, there could just be like a couple of strands of one color that really brings those things to life. Uh, down here on the keeper, they have a wire keeper on there. Uh, so you can put, you know, whatever kind of soft plastic trailer you want, it's gonna hold it on there really well. And it has a nice little uh, fiber weed guard on there, not too stiff, but it's also not like some of the other finesse jigs, they have kind of really light weed guards that don't really do much for you. This one is kind of right there in that sweet spot. So overall, really cool jig from Evergreen. We're actually super pumped to get here and to tack a warehouse. All right, next few things we got here are from Hook Rash. So Hook Rash got a few products. The first one here is this new rod holder system they got. And I know you're looking at it and you're like, what are you gonna do with this thing? So this is kind of geared for the angler that's maybe got a, you know, a car or maybe a small SUV. And you're always transporting, you know, those one piece rods, you know, down the middle of your car, maybe through the, you know, through the passenger seat, but really, really, you know, those like smaller SUVs where you put maybe the butt section of the rod in the back and you have the tips of the rods going between the two seat, the two front seats. So you hook this thing up, um, between the headrests on the two front seats and it gives you some slots on there to kind of lay the tips of the rods down and you know keep them secure so they're not banging into the shifter or just all piled up and getting and getting beat up while you're trying to transport rods if you have a vehicle where you have limited space so keeps the rods nice and suspended keeps everything separated keeps your rods from getting tangled up and just overall a better way to kind of transport that transport rods and keep those tips up kind of higher in the vehicle kind of using utilizing that wasted space that's in there and just keep everything nice and organized. So cool little product there from Hook Rash. Next one is another uh, product that they got for rods. This is called Rod Armor. And this is something that I really wish I had on some of my older, uh, more prized rods in the collection, stuff that's discontinued that I really try to keep in good shape and I want to keep forever and gonna be bummed if something happens to them because I can't get another one. So this Rod Armor is a piece of material that's made to fit right around where your hook keeper is. So on the back, they have a nice little picture of it. So if you have one of those Texas style hook keepers or one of the hook keepers right above your reel seat, you know, after years and years of fishing, you know, your blank can get torn up right there. Um, I have some old swim bait rods that, you know, that, that area of the rod specifically has been torn up because you got, you know, big treble hooks, big jig hooks from those swim baits. And you got your drag locked down and the things are tight and it just scratches up the blank over time. Uh, these right here are an awesome uh, are an awesome addition to put on put onto those rods. You trim it down to fit any size rods, and it has a little spot on there to fit around that keeper and just protect that uh, protect that section of your rod. So if you have some rods that you just want to keep in pristine condition, 
um, and maybe even your cranking rods that you're always putting treble hooks up there and it's always tearing up that section of your rod, the rod armor, might be, one, might be something that you want to look into. The next few things we got are actually built for uh, swim baits. It's kind of what they're known for. So the first one is our glow in the dark swim bait night tracer. So the, the small tracers are just like the other tracers they sell. Uh, you put them on the, on, the, on the top of the back of your swim baits, but with these glow in the dark ones specifically for night fishing. So if you got those like big wake baits or you know, other big swim baits that you want to fish at night, um, if you got that clear water, or if you're just fishing top water, it doesn't matter what color, you know, how dirty the water is. Um, you have the, the glow in the dark tracers. It comes with the light in the package so you can charge them up and you get that little glow section on the top of your swim bait. And, you know, if you want to fish like maybe a glide bait or something at night, something that kind of, you know, anglers haven't been able really to do, um, you know, before these, if you're fishing like a glide bait or certain types of swim baits, that maybe has a more uh, a cadence that you really have to pay attention to and know when to snap it, when to turn it to get to get it to do what you want to do. Can't see it at night. Now you have the glow tracer. So if there's something where you know you want to glide your bait underneath the dock or you know glide it around a piece of cover, but you need to get that perfect twitch right at the right time, the glow tracer is going to help you do that. And then they also have the regular reflective night tracers. Um, these are going to be better for if you're fishing on, you know, bright full moons and have that clear water or you fish areas with a lot of dock lights and stuff like that. These are just highly, highly reflective materials versus the glow in the dark. So if you have somewhere where you can get away with just the reflection and you don't want the glow in the dark, you can check these out as well. All right, a couple soft plastics for you guys. This first one here, this one I'm actually pretty pumped to try out from Big Bite Baits. This is a part of the new, um, their new Sensations plastics. And, I think we filmed these on a couple of what's new TWs ago. Um, if you haven't tried these out, the scent formula that Big Bite is using in these is phenomenal. When you open these, these packages up, they really stink. They really infuse these things with a lot of scent, and I think it's gonna make a huge difference on these Big Bite baits. So this one's called the Cliffhanger, and they named it that after uh, the guy who designed it, Clifford Perch in Elite Series Pro. Um, he's from Arizona, you know, and this is kind of a West Coast style, um, West Coast style finesse worm. So if you fish Arizona or anywhere on the West Coast, there's a lot of clear water fisheries and you know, finesse fishing with small soft plastic worms is just something you have to do all the time. So they kind of molded this, you know, after, you know, kind of like your standard hand pour style worm, you know, straight tail, it's got a little egg sack on there and it's got a little flat tail on there. What I like what they did with this one, they, they just went with a five inch. A lot of the worms, a lot of the finesse worms out there on the market that are kind of this style hand pour worms usually have four inch and six inch. They kind of went right in the middle. Gave you a five inch option. So great for your drop shots, great for shaky heads. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I like, the, I like the five inch models, especially if you want to use uh, the, like a little Texas style hook on there if you want to rig it weedless. Um, you know, I, I usually fish around a little bit of brush and stuff like that. So having the weedless, having the weedless option is always great just to get, get yourself through that cover. Sometimes on the smaller, you know, four, four and a half inch worms, you have that little weedless hook on there and you really lose a lot of the action on the bait. With the five inch, you're still gonna be able to get away with that hook and have plenty of tail out the back to still get a lot of action. So, uh, you know, checking out their color selection as well. They actually have a lot of really good color selection in this lineup of worms. So if you're looking for a new finesse worm, already got the scent loaded up into it, that new one from Big Bite is gonna be the way to go. Next one we got here from Z-Man, we got the new Salty Ned Shrimp. So awesome little shrimp profile made out of their Elastec material. This is made to fit up on quite a few of the Z-Man jig heads, the, I believe the Texas size, the, the, the finesse shrooms, a few of the other ones are already linked in the description below. But just giving you that small finesse shrimp kind of profile. So all the inshore guys that if you fish, if you fish the Gulf and stuff like that and you're looking for those small shrimp profile uh, soft plastics, this is gonna be a great one for you, or any of those like maybe tidal fisheries where maybe the bass have uh, some different forage than you would typically get on normal freshwater fisheries. Sometimes if you have those tidal places, you get blue crabs and you get, you know, you get all kinds of different crustaceans and stuff that the bass will feed on. So if you're looking for something kind of a shrimp profile, uh, you know, like I said, gonna be a great option for you. But still, you know, even though it's a, it's a shrimp bait, it still has that kind of a crawdad look to it. So real small, real compact. You can put this on a ton of different jig heads. You can drop shot it. You can do a ton of stuff with it. And you can catch a ton of fish with it because it's made out of elastic and it doesn't get torn up. And you uh, just save yourself a lot of money not having to buy more baits because you can catch so many fish on them. All right, jump into some rods, reels, and a few accessories here. First reel we got up here. 
This is from Daiwa. This is, an, this is the JDM Alphas SVTW reel. So this is an awesome reel. Uh, you know, checking it out and going over all the features on this reel. So this reel comes in at 300 bucks, but when you check out everything that's in it, it's got a lot of the features that a lot of their more higher end reels have in them. Um, so right out the gate, SV spool with the T-wing system on there. So SV spool, you can cast so many lightweight baits and uh, you're not gonna have all those like backlashing issues that you would with that, as you would with a traditional reel. So the SV spool takes way less inertia to get it to start spinning. So as you can see there, you know, you can even flick that spool and it barely even moves because it's so lightweight and it takes so much less force to get it spinning. You know, it doesn't have all the weight and mass like a big heavy duty spool. So it's really easy to cast lightweight lures. And then with the T-wing system on there, you know, it opens up and then you just have less, uh, less restricted line flow on the cast. Um, they've also built this with their hyperdrive design and two features that I really wanted to point out on here is their digi gear. So it's a, it's a gear that has much bigger teeth on it. So the gears mesh together really, really well. Um, especially when you're, you're torquing fish and you're really cranking on them and then the hyper support system. So it's, there's a double bearing support system on the pinion gear. So it keeps the gears and everything perfectly aligned, especially when you have the, the reel under a heavy load. So every, um, all your, your whole gear system will stay perfectly in line and nothing gets torqued or anything like that. If you've ever hooked a fish or you know, hook it in some cover or hook a bigger fish and you're trying to crank and you can't turn the handle, can't turn the handle it's because your gears are getting out of line and you're, you're losing power. With this system that's in this, uh, this hyperdrive concept, you don't lose any power. So even if you are loaded up on a big fish or you're in some kind of cover, you can crank down on this thing and you're not gonna have any, uh, any loss of power. This is a smaller, more compact reel. So I believe it holds about 100 yards of 10 pound line. So it is geared more towards the smaller, smaller style baits. Really compact reel, fits really well in the hand has an 85 millimeter aluminum handle and then the I-shaped knobs on there. But overall, it's just a sweet reel. It got that 20 position uh, brake system on the side. So if you're looking for something that's maybe geared towards um, smaller baits, maybe you know small little jigs like this, smaller crankbaits, uh, this is gonna be a great option for you from Daiwa. All right, Rod here, we got from Fenwick. This is the new Fenwick Elite Bass Series. So we have these rods in a casting, spinning, uh, cranking models, and we have two-piece uh, two spinning rods as well. So overall, you know, they got everything covered from top to bottom with this series of rods. Um, with the blank, they're using a high modulus blank and their Powerlux uh, resin, form, or resin system. And what that's gonna do for you is they're able to use, you know, higher strain graphite, and then they're able to put that Powerlux system in there and they're able to achieve thinner, um, thinner diameter blanks but maintain the strength and durability. So they're super lightweight, but they're also gonna be really, really strong and durable. So you don't have to worry about having a brittle rod. You know, when you go to those lighter, you know, higher modulus graphite blanks, you can sometimes have them more brittle, but these are reinforced. You're not gonna have any problem with that. On the guide system, they're using a titanium frame guide with a zirconia insert. So again, you know, just keeping that weight down with the titanium frames and the zirconia inserts, super sensitive. Um, down here, they get a nice carbon fiber uh, reel seat nut, and they're using a skeletonized uh, reel seat, so it's super comfortable on the hand, get a lot of blank exposure, cork candles, which I'm a big fan of, and just a sleek looking rod overall, you know, uh, you know black accents, cork handle, you know, gray, um, kind of a matte, flat gray rod, so overall, really, you know, a pleasing rod to check out, um, you know, it doesn't have any super loud colors on it or anything like that, just an awesome series of rods there from Fenwick. Last up, gonna be a bunch of stuff, a bunch of new TW stuff that we actually got into stock. Um, first one here is our new umbrella rig holders. So we got these new umbrella rig tubes. Really convenient way to store your umbrella rigs. So you can just open these things up, you know, throw a fully rigged umbrella rig in there, you know, the, with swim baits, jig heads, everything on it, you can get it all down in there. Just an easier way to store it. Um, or you can have, you know, you don't have to put rigged ones in any, put unrigged ones, but uh, just a kind of a better option to store these, especially if you're going out with a buddy on a boat or, you know, if you have a boat, just uh, sometimes umbrella rigs are such a pain to keep in a standard traditional um, uh, storage box. And these tubes are actually really, really helpful. So we've been testing them out and kind of playing with different ideas on the best way to store umbrella rigs. And this has been working out the best for all of us. So, uh, you know, you don't need 
50 umbrella rigs with you. You can get a handful of these. You can, you know, rig them all up, take them with you, and you're going to be good to go for the day. So a great way to store your umbrella rigs if you're looking for umbrella rig storage. And that fight usually gets pretty good here coming up. So something that you want to maybe keep in mind. Next one is our new uh, zippered way bags. So this is a newer version of our, of our way bag, and we've done a couple changes to the design of it. Yeah, down here on the bottom, uh, we're using um, heat sealed seams. And then on the back, there's another heat sealed seam that goes down the middle. So having the seam down the middle, um, having it vertical, and then connecting to the one that's at the bottom that's horizontal, it helps distribute the, it helps distribute the weight when you have it loaded with water and you know, your 20 pound bag of fish, it just distributes that a little bit better and helps with, uh, it helps keep everything reinforced and it's much, much stronger this way. So we've played with a bunch of different designs and this one has been working out the best as far as durability and being able to hold maximum amount of weight. Um, up here on the top, you know, got nice heavy duty zippers, you know, padded Velcro handle, everything you kind of want in a way bag. Uh, like I said, this newer version is much more beefed up, reinforced, and gonna be a lot more durable. Last thing we got, our new backpack. So we got the new Tackle Warehouse backpacks. Um, what, the changes that we made to this, we kind of take, we've taken out the, uh, the, internal, uh, the internal worm storage on the inside. So we used to have the kind of the worm, uh, the worm binders up here. We took those out just to give more room. It seems like uh, most of the anglers just wanted the extra space on the inside to, to carry more tackle boxes. So we took that out. So you have more room on the inside. Um, on the outside, these little mesh holders are gonna be bigger and wider, so you can fit bigger, uh, the wider water bottles on the, on the outside, or you can put a rod on the outside and strap it down and not have any problems. So you have cinch cord on there, so you can run it tight if you want to, but they're bigger and they're wider to hold bigger, uh, bigger water bottles on them now on the, out, on the outside. And on the strap system, our older straps were a little bit shorter, so we lengthened those out to make it more comfortable, especially you know if you're a bigger guy or you got this thing loaded down uh, with a bunch of weight, you need, the, you need the bigger straps to, you know, to be able to accommodate that. So they're longer, so they fit, around, uh, they fit farther down uh, across your body than the old ones. Uh, the older ones were a little bit short, and sometimes you know, they, kinda, they would cut off, on um, cut off on certain areas and they weren't uh, sometimes the most comfortable. So we lengthened those out to just make it more accommodating for most anglers out there. Uh, we have new colors too. We have them in uh, just the full, all, uh, um, full black one, and then we have the uh, digital camo. And this one's kind of more of a, more of like a like a woodland camo pattern. It's got more green. It's got more green in it than the last batch, so it's got a little bit more of a uh, woodland touch to it versus the last batch. So just a little bit different, a little bit less gray, a little bit more green on that color. So that's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of the products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.